Cold, wet, windy Oddsall. And an afternoon which promises to be a fine encounter for Leeds and Bradford Northern. Both sides having won two of their opening four league games, standing on four points. Bradford, by virtue of a better points difference, finishing above Leeds at the moment in the table. Well, of course, both sides had splendid wins last week. Bradford, of course, defeating Wigan here at the odd point in 62. 31-30, and Leeds, of course, accounting for St. Helens in the BSB night match. It promises to be a good atmosphere. There's a big crowd building up. <laughs> well, welcome back as the teams take the field. Leeds on first today, and Kirsty Cheatham, the mascot, leading them out. It's a big day for her. I'm sure that both sides have a lot to play for this afternoon and both having splendid victories last week and I've got Alan Guilfoyle with me. Alan, big day today. Yeah, it's a very big day. As you say, both teams need to win. Uh, we just wanted the victory uh, at home against Wigan last week, uh, the odd point in 61, but nevertheless, uh, it's tremendous for, for the spectators and we're hoping to continue in the same vein today. Thank you. We'll be hearing more from Alan as we go on through the afternoon. Our lead team on the field first. They've already been out for a warm-up in Bradford Northern. Just about to take the field with the cheerleaders. I can see the Leeds bench. David Ward, Norman Smith and Rabbi there. And here come Bradford Northern. There's Nick and there's steam pigs and a couple of them just coming out of the field. David Hobbs, of course, with the hardest job in rugby league, that of player coach. I just go through the teams for Bradford Northern. Darren Moxham comes in at full back for Ian Wilkinson. Jiddle Corden, Daryl Shelford, Tony Marchant and Henderson Gill are the three quarters. Roger Simpson and Brett Eaty. Uh, Halfbacks. Craig Richards, who had a tremendous game last week. Brian Noble and John Amer. The front row. Paul Medley, former lead star, and Kyle Fairbank, the second row. And David Hobbs, captain and loose forward. Substitutes, Mark Wilson and John Pendlebury. For Leeds, Gary Spencer comes in at full back for John Gallagher, who has a rib injury. Phil Ford, Simon Irving, Carl Gibson, playing his 91st consecutive match. And Vince Fawcett in the three quarters. Gary Schofield continues his partnership with Paul Harkin. A halfback, Roy Powell, Richard Gunn and Sean Wayne at the front row. Steve Malloy, Kevin Yu, Paul Dixon, the back three. David Creaser and the Kiwi Mike Kowita, the substitute. So for this afternoon, and Mr Jim Smith. Thank you. Conditions a bit wet underfoot here at Odsall. A speedway meeting last night was called off on Friday because of the continual rain we've had. I hope this doesn't spoil the game, it's a bit windy. But the sun's shining and we've had no rain this morning. just pushing up on the ground that Leeds invariably don't play very well. Here I think they've only won four times in something like the last 20 meetings. I think Bradford Northern winning 16. How of that, and this is very much a Leeds bogey ground as it has been over the years. And both sides have much to play for this afternoon. Malcolm Reilly is here, I'm informed. One or two players will be open to make late additions to the Great Britain squad. And the players selected from both sides will be no doubt open to impress to get a start in the final 17. Four substitutes, of course, being used in the test against Australia. This lead's going to kick off, and from left to right as you look at it, we got a score for getting the game underway. And it's taken by Cal Fairbanks over his own line. And a good run there from Fairbanks, breaks the tackle of Simon Irving. Leeds moving up quickly, featuring the Leeds playing the last couple of wins, has been their defence, has been very tight and give nobody a chance of a try. And caught offside there, it's got his Schofield. And another one there for talking, that's a silly thing to do. Gary obviously speaking out of turn, Jim Smith having none of that. Silly penalties to give away at early stage, Alan. Yes, uh, there's no need for it. Uh, Gary had been caught, and if you caught, you've just got to take it on the chin and, and get back. Uh, it gives another 10 yards, and we're, we're now on the attack as opposed to defending, really. And that's right. Bradford Northern set a position there from 10, 15 yards inside the Leeds half. Itty. Fairbanks. Tackling from Leeds, keeping Bradford in the middle of the field. Jim play Hobbs, Noble for the short ball. And 
Andrew Simpson there, half break, good ball there, Torema. Bamford having a first look at the Leeds 25. David Hobbs with the kick over. It's for Vince Fawcy. And that's a knock on there. And that's a penalty offside. And that's a surprising decision. Vince Fawcy knocked that ball back, I think. Schofield with the job of the line kicking today. Richie Gunn to take this tap. Richie Gunn moving from loose forward to hooker in place of Colin Maskell this week. And Powell. And the man will be looking for a big game to impress Malcolm Reilly. Tremendous game last week. Got a roll there. Controlling that ball. And that's offside. And the TT the culprit. Made a tremendous difference to the Leeds pack. A good, solid, strong running player. Suspicion of a forward pass there. Cavalier. Leeds is ten yards from the northern line in the middle of the field. Harkin running around Schofield. Lovely ball there, Simon Irving's over for the first try. And a lovely move there from Leeds. Oh, Bradford bit wide open there, Alan. Yeah, with the Bradford move, funny enough. Yeah, this, uh, the cross move that uh, we've played a lot over the past couple of seasons, but uh, all credit to Leeds there. Uh, uh, every man doing his job, and Simon Irving coming on the burst, breaking the tackle, and in for a good try. Yes, that's a good start. It's the start that Leeds had wanted. Simon Irving there taking that ball on the burst after the switch move with Arkin and Gary Schofield. That's a good start then for the Liners. Been playing some three minutes. And already Leeds, four points to nil in the lead with the kick to come. Simon Irving making the transition from being a star rugby union player to a star rugby league player, he's improving every week. England B international. A cool calculated kicker of the ball, as you can see from that, that's straight between the posts, so leads 6 0 in the lead. And just the start that leads are wanted. For Dixon. Dixon half break there, but only matching any on. Deep Malloy. And Arkin with one of his clever kicks towards the touch line and that finds touch. Five yards inside of Bradford Northern 25. Alan Paul Arkin, the best line kicker in the business. Paul Arkin is, in my opinion, still the best scrum half in the business. I was sick to see him leave Bradford Stewart, but a uh, tremendous player. And as you'll say, he can put them kicks on the sixpence from any, any, any place on the field. Well, there's no club that he's tormented with those kicks more over the years than Leeds, both when he was at Bradford and Old Kingston. And now he's doing it for the liners. And that's a knock on there. So Leeds again put some pressure on. And that's a penalty straight away there. Mm. Didn't really make out what that was. The packs didn't come together before the referee signalled. But anyway, it's a penalty to Northern and that'll be a relief to them. Amy. In the Leeds half of the field.
Craig Richards. I'm a tremendous season with Bradford. All them making up for the departure of Kelvin Skerry. Hobbs. Oh, well, keep it there by Reigns, Fawcett. And Fawcett running across. And, and straight back into Hobbs. Sean Wayne. Tackle coming in there, and the Lions lost the ball. And that's a penalty against Leeds again. That's four penalties for Bedford Northern. Hobbs, Lance touch, just in the Leeds 25. And crowd behind the Northern. Pat now. And a good tackle there from Phil Ford. Our Fairbanks and Brian Noble working the short side. Bob City. Roger Simpson. Richards. And almost throw there. Good play from the youngster. Leeds just relaxing there, thinking the tackle was made. And then again, it's Northern exploit the short side. Six tackle coming up. Hobbs. Look at there. Leeds fortuitous bounce of the ball off Roy Powell and straight back to Carl Gibson. Silly penalty there by Noble. Just uh, sounding out his opposite number, Richard Gunn. Let's go for it. With the kick. The ball in the line, back to Arkin, that's good play from Leeds. W. Dixon through a gap there, he's gapped in well there, and Dixon up to the full-back. Moxon has him at the second attempt, but Leeds pulling on the pressure now, Arkin running, buzzing, Schofield. A touch judges in there, and Arkin's been it off the ball. And both touch judges in. Did you see anything happen there when I was watching play? Yeah, I think uh, Craig Richards drops the court ball a bit late. He's a little at the ball there, so he's about to cross across. Craig and across and I think it was a bit late. Maybe Dobbs just going up to have a look at the officials and being sent away. The well, Leeds should at least have a penalty here. And Schofield there uh, making a half break and just had his ankle stuck by David Dobbs. Philly Smith went away with both such judges. And Greg Richards, as Alan said, being the man that's called out. And Hobbs being sent away. And Hobbs will be wary of the uh, captain's voice in their opinion after what happened here last week to Ellery Hanley. And that was a fine move by Leeds there. Cavalier put Paul Dixon through the smallest of gaps and Dixon made it count, going from 25, 30 yards. And I can back on his feet. And Stuart Walker, the physio, just came into him. And that'll no doubt be a penalty to Leeds. And Simon Irving. Another we'll kick at goal.
He's up that wide, and that's a bad miss from in front of the post. Should be a drop out. Alan, not much speed between the two sides apart from the Leeds try? No, the Leeds got the early score, and uh, since then it's been mostly midfield. But, uh, I, I, you know, I think they're very even on that side, so uh, I think it's going to be maybe one or two mistakes that they lose either side of the game. Uh, Leeds forwards playing very well today. They usually Northern has the ascendancy in the pack, but uh, Leeds forwards showing a lot of skills at the moment. Well, Leeds there, Schofield kicking through and getting the, the bounce, and Sean Wayne's driving for the post. And that's six more tackles, is it, referee? Richard Gunn. Medley not stopping him there. Bad mistake from Medley. And there's Alan Rackley says the Leeds pack. Playing well this afternoon as they've done in the last couple of matches. Schofield, oh, jinking there and just slipping. Looks a good ball out, Spencer. Simon Irving. Gone shut Gofield now. What can he do here? That's Dixon throwing. That's another try, and Northern again. At the point where you'd expect that to be the strongest defence close to the line. Ripped open again by a short pass from Gary Schofield on. Yeah, that was, just, that was poor tackling. Gary uh, putting Paul Dixon on the, on the straight run. They went through two players. Uh, that was poor tackling, Stuart. That's... that's right. And I'm sure David Hobson was having a word with the players at the back of the line. Now, won't be too thrilled with that. And Leeds, they're uh, getting the penalty. Missing him, collecting the drop out and bringing the ball back up field with some good running, particularly by Steve Malloy, Sean Wayne. And when Gary Spencer got the ball, Gary Schofield managed to put Paul Dixon over for the lead second try. I'm sure the Leeds fans in the crowd would be likely to do that. There is no side that Leeds prefer to beat. Then Bradford Northern, Simon Irving hooks that one this time. So that's ten points to nil in the lead. As I was saying, Leeds prefer to beat Bradford than anybody else. Sean Wayne was telling me earlier this week that when he played against Warrington, he was surprised at the lack of needle after playing in those fixtures for Wigan. And uh, he was told in no uncertain terms what to expect when he came to Odds this afternoon. So it's City with the kickoff. Dixon again. Sensibly going down there is Big Craig Richards come to push him into touch. Malloy. And that's good solid running there from Steve Malloy. And David Ward telling me he's delighted with the two new signings he's made. The leads in the forwards. Harkin and he's caught now on offside and it's David Hobbs. Finds good touch. 15 yards in the Bedford 25. Chip in with the tap. Now Powell. John Wayne. Irving. Leads five yards short now. Chip on going from acting half. Just taking play away from the touchline. Good tackle from Brian Noble. Go for it. Put yourself at Injun to Paul Medley. Cavalier. Oh, Cavalier just couldn't get a ball out there. Richard Gunning support. Schofield. Dixon. That's a try. And again there, Alan, Bradford caught short out near the line. Yeah, we, we, we were standing waiting, that's the trouble, so we're not going to meet the, meet the players. And, uh, you know, that's the moment dictating everything. Uh, Schofield and uh, Arkin. And at the moment, we've just no answer to you. We've got to, I think, basically, we've just got to get off the line and meet you rather than stand waiting for you. That's right, that's what I've noticed throughout this game that Northern Pack has been stood watching the Leeds forwards run. And that's certainly been a sin that Leeds have been guilty of numerous times over the years. They said that they admire open rugby at Leeds, but we don't want the Leeds pack to stand and watch them playing it. 
and uh, that's been a feature of the Leeds game. In the last two or three games, that they've moved up quickly and snuffed out any chance of the opposition running. So it's Simon Irving then, with an easier kick than last time. He makes no mistake this time and leads 16 points. The nil in the lead. We've been playing some 15 minutes. I think David Ward would be delighted with his start, Alan. I'm sure David, David Ward would. I'm not sure David Hobbs will be half as delighted to it. Well, no, we need to score now to get back in the game. And uh, the longer it goes without us getting back, then the, the worse it's going to become, I'm afraid. Yes, that's a fair comment there from Alan. No, they really need to get back in this game and quickly. Larkin just collects that ball and gives it to Gary Spencer, his first senior out of the season. Oh, and he's done really well there, Gary Spencer, almost up to the 25. And a tackle coming in there from Roger Simpson that the referee's taken exception to. That's Leeds' sixth penalty to four from Bradford Northern. Schofield finds good touch on the halfway line. Richard Gunn will take the tap. Cavalier put Dixon almost through the gap again there. Corner. Finds touch a yard from the flag. The referee makes that some seven and eight yards. So Northern. Well, I've had him ball, they hit you to feed. And good tackle now from Schofield. Towards the touchline by the Leeds tacklers. This is good tackling from Leeds. Northern still penned around that 25 yard area. And moving up quickly again. Fair back, so I missed him there. That's good play. Between support. And Hobbs will put the kick in. And Spencer will bring that back. He's still the first tacklers again, Gary Spencer, having a great game this afternoon. Lucky to lose his place to John Gallagher. On last season's showing, John Wayne. Right, Powell, throwing the ball, going himself. Schofield. And Schofield again, that's good play. A good tackle there. By John Amer, saving the day. Leeds looking dangerous again, pressing now. Cavalio slips. Surface greasy this afternoon, although the sun's been shining all morning. And it's Schofield trying to drop goal. That's high. And it's there as well. And another score to Leeds when they were pressing dangerously, Alan. Yeah, and that's good tactics by Gary Schofield there. We, we found out how important the drop goal could be last week. We won the game in the end for us. And we're not really giving ourselves any options. Uh, we're giving the ball away when we get it. And we haven't seen it for about 10, 15 minutes. I think we've had about six tackles in the last 10 minutes. Yes, Leeds very much piling the pressure on and looking dangerous when they've got the ball. And Leeds newfound confidence after those first early defeats of the season. Making Leeds his first mistake and Simpson picking it up. Oh, and a bad pass there from Itty straight into the arms of Vince Fawcett, and that's just what Northern didn't want. John Wayne over the 25. Powell there, 
Thompson looking for the interception. John Wayne again. Malai. Schofield through the gap. Oh, and a great tackle there from Fairbanks. Schofield almost through. Harkin will put the kick in. And that's not going to go this time. Locks it as he takes it. Bang on his own line and straightens up and Ford gets him. Anderson Gale. Still struggling, Anderson Gale, and finally. <laughs> and he's to shake off Phil Ford, but Paul Arkin brings him down. And laughing there in the single, he likes to play this game with a smile on his face. And each player injured his right Powell. Mitty almost throw. Simpson runs into Arkin. Cordell. Oh, and Bradford, this is Bradford's best attack so far, and Cordell's give it to Marchant. The Marchant there going for the line, he's got Henderson Gill outside him. Oh, and Henderson Gill knocking on there with the line wide open. <laughs> I can tell the referee. And Powell will pack down at the back of the scrum. The penalty there. To Northern feeding a scrum by Paul Arkin. It's for Northern. With a chance to put some pressure on the Leeds line. Hobbs just makes the obligatory kick in a touch. I don't know why it never ceases to amaze me as it was from exactly the same place. The tap is going to be as well. The kick and Fairbanks driving for the line. And Northern quite adept at using the short side, using the forwards to drive on towards the Leeds backs. Gap on the far side, Craig Richards it is and leads. Equal to the task at the moment. Itty. It's four tackles now than a view who drives for the line. Hobbs. Scorefield out quickly there, looking at the interception and managing to tackle Simpson and Simpson's lost the ball. And the referee says that's a knock on. And on the sixth tackle. It's a handover. Seemed rather strange this evening as that was only the fifth tackle. Oh, right. Powell slipping the first tackle. John Wayne. Scorfield. Malloy. Three Northern plays into the tackle, that's good. Tackling now, Northern moving up quicker. <coughs> Schofield's kick. It's going to find touch, 10 yards inside. The Northern 25. <coughs> well, Northern taking the first two scrums and leads penalised at the third one. Simpson. John Marchant. Emma Castleford three quarter. Moxon straightening up. BT again. BT involved in everything that Northern seemed to do. Yeah, Fairbanks. And three of each players in with the tackle. Hobbs, shot ball for Craig Richards. Simpson. And some girl there having a poke at Phil Ford. And going really across field from Elias Dow. But not making much ground this time. It's a six tackle coming up. Spencer back when he's taking it on the first bounce. 
Impressed with the way Gary Spencer's run the ball out of defence, Alan? Yeah, I'm impressed with Gary Spencer altogether. He very well has a good game against Bradford, and uh, today's no exception. So he's really running the ball out well. Dixon, lovely ball there from Arkin, and Dixon just turning in the tackle, but no support. Kelly Kelly beginning to put it together after some disappointing games early season. Arkin with the kick. That's for Moxon. He's going to let it go over his head, and that might roll dead. In fact, he stops it before it does. And of course, for Ian Wilkinson. And runs out to the 25. Good strong run there by Moxon. Shelford, first time we've really seen him with the ball this afternoon. Brother, of course, of Wayne Shelford, All Blacks captain. Oh, and a lovely ball there from Noble to Medley. And Carl Gibson steals it off him, and that's typical Carl Gibson ploy. Just straightening up and beating men there. And Carl Gibson playing his 91st consecutive match for Leeds this afternoon, very much a record. And he's been set up from full back. Leeds just on the 25. And Sean Wayne going to drive forward. Throw some bad tackling there and still going in Schofield, has he? And Malloy, Malloy's going to score, I think. No, he's out short. Malloy should have passed there. He's on his back, but the ball's still in play. Richard Gunn, Schofield, coming in to go himself, and Dixon's put that ball down. That was lucky there for Northern, because I think another try then would have killed the game. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Uh, I was just looking to see what I was doing there. There's a bit of interference with Tony Martin, then we've not got the penalty. Yes, that's right. I think the ball was pulled out of his hands. Yeah, but you're right. Uh, again, coming on strong, the big forwards close to the line, and uh, we've really got to come and meet them, because if we don't meet them, it's, it's curtains. Well, they have it from Alan Guilfoyle, and that's just what I think as well. It's curtains if Leeds score again at this early stage. We've been playing almost 30 minutes now. And it's been virtually all leads on attack. Oh, Nitty there, just showing what Bradford are capable of, and Schofield hanging on for grim death. Thompson domains the kick there, and almost working for him. Steve Malight was who makes the tackle, puts himself about the field well. Airbanks. Like Schofield's tackle. Chopping the ball. And Arkin has it, and Richard Gunn brings it away for Leeds. Simon Irving showing the ball. Good tackling from Craig Richards there. Ford. Now, what can he do? Well, nobody preferred to score more than Phil Ford against his old colleagues. Yes, and Phil Ford felt that tackle from David Hobbs. Reeling about like a drunken street fighter at the moment. Larkin, short kick again, finds touch. And how many times over the years have we said that? that Larkin's kick finds touch, tremendous player. Unlucky to have not just more than the one Great Britain cap. And certainly unlucky not to tour in 1984 when he was at. Probably his peak. Definitely not happy with the scrum. It is with the feed and it's out to him and he picks it out quickly. Tackle there coming in from Cavalio. Moxon. Again, Northern using three tackles up, still not out of the 25. Tony Marching. Pushes. Stealing the lie off. 
Oh, and Fairbanks in there, and no need for that at all. And touch judge. Touch tackle coming up, touch judge going back off. And Fairbanks throwing a punch there and looking up to be penalised. Took exception to the running back. Richard Gunn holding him down in the tackle. Medley throws the ball out, and that's good play, and there should be something here. And Schofield's got the measure of call, as he know. He's got Spencer to beat now. No, oh, Medley's dropped the ball, and that's tremendous play from Leeds there. Adding in Bradford into mistakes, and Paul Medley, who would have been delighted to take that ball, so Bradford spurned another chance of a try there. Bad play again, Alan. Yeah, poor finishing again, so again with the beating of a man on with an open line puts the ball down. And uh, you've got to take chances like that at this level, because if you don't, uh, you don't get the results. That's right, there's no easy games and you must take your chances and that's two that Bradford have spurned with the line wide open on the two occasions that they've split leads. And good passing out of the tackle in there. Leeds defence caught napping a bit with the altercation between Fairbanks and Richard Gunn. The kick. That's for Moxon. Takes it. Just to get his own line, bringing the ball up to the 25. Tackling there, coming in Roy Powell. And that's a penalty. Moxon played for that and got it. in touch there in Northern performance going from bad to worse. Going forward onto that ball beautifully there. Stepping. Good tackle. Committee. Shelford. Sorry. Powell getting the ball out the tackle. Schofield again. Going himself. Good tackle. Ryan Noble. Gun. And into some strong tackling there from Brian Noble. Brian Noble, great character, great tackler. Dixon, Caulfield. Just pushing of a forward pass there. That's out for Carl Gibson. There could be something here for Leeds. Oh, he's been pushing the touch. Good tackle there from Jill Cordell. Leeds testing Cordell's defence there. And he manages to push Carl Gibson over the line. In the last five minutes of this first half. The lead still leading by the 17 points to nil. Two Dixon tries, an Irving try, two conversions, and a drop goal from Gary Schofield. That's another penalty there to Northern. points on the board before half time and this has given them a chance to put some pressure on David Creese I can see warming up for Leeds David Richards Richie it's a knock on and we'll see which knock on the referee gives he might have judged that Carl Fairbanks knock on went backwards he hasn't Leeds had him ball. No chance for them to take the first scrum. They've been penalised at the previous scrum that Paul Akin did in his own feet. I'm not feeling happy with that. Full top. And that's another penalty at the scrum against Leeds. And talking again, and that's the ninth penalty Leeds have conceded this half. And putting themselves under pressure there. Moxon in the line. They're running, straightening up. Good play from Moxon. And it's it. He's going, he's got... There must be a try here for Northern. Too early pass there from Shelford to Cornell. 
knocks in there, some straight running down the middle of the field, splitting leads. Hobbs, Fairbanks. There's no way through for Cal Fairbanks. Hobbs. Will takes it and puts it down again. And Paul Dixon just having a laugh there with Henderson Hill, although I'm sure he doesn't find it funny. Again, a chance burned, Helen. Yeah, again, the line open, Phil Ford had gone in trying to cover the the short stuff, and Dave obviously put a long ball out and line open, and Henderson puts it down again. And at last, Paul Arkin gets the ball in to the referee's satisfaction and leads win the first scrum of the afternoon, and Ford almost through there. Stepped his way around one man. Oh, Spencer. Gibson straightening up. Anderson Gill in the middle of the field doing some cover tackling. Larkin driving Northern back again. I don't think that's going to find touch. No, Moxon just saves that some. A couple of foot shot on the line. And then, they're just outside the Northern 25. Simpson showing the ball again, and this is good play from Northern. Medley with him, but chose to go on his own, and Spencer brought off the cover tackle. Here's the gap. Stepping out of tackles, good playing. Gets a ball away to him, and good play from Northern Medley now. Shaking all this is good play from Medley. And they're going to go over for a try. A good try there, Shelford. Well, good play there from Paul Medley, Alan. Well, good play from Paul Medley, strong play, but Brett it is set it all up uh, with a dart in and going down, knocking people off, and then accelerating. The poor medley has got that pace and that strength, uh, as you well know, it leads, and, and a good ball out then to Darrell Shilford. But we needed that try because we, we put three chances down, and uh, the longer it was going, the worse and worse my nerves were getting. Well, that's it, and the right time to score psychologically just before half time. They'll probably just be time to kick off after this, and Moxon injured there. Physio tending to him. Nobs with this kick. It's a difficult one. It's Seven or eight yards in from touch, and it's a couple of foot maybe outside the 25. And Leeds finally succumbing there after two or three attempts by Northern had gone down. There, and that's a tremendous conversion by David Hobbs. Still, David Hobbs, one of the best kickers in the business. The leads to restart. I'll play on my clock, showing 40 minutes. The leads seeming in a hurry to get the game back underway. Scofield and incurring the wrath of the crowd. <laughs> Speculation as to whether he'll get the standoff berth. And Malcolm really picks his side. And Moxham takes that ball well there. And there goes the half time ulter. The Leeds living only 17 points to six. Alan, good first half for the liners, but Bradford have had the chances. Yeah, that, that's been the difference in the two teams, I think. There's been good approach work by both sides, that uh, Leeds have been clinical in the finishing and are going to put chances down. Uh, I just hope that Northern can get early try in the second half and then it will become a game again. Well, I'll just go through the score as fire and three minutes serving had a try, which he converted. And then Dixon scored a try some ten minutes later. 
And Leeds were back within two minutes with another try from Paul Dixon and Irving converted again, and that was 16 points to nil. Score for that a drop goal. And then Bradford really turned the screw on and dropped some passes when they should have scored. And finally, just 38 minutes, Shelford had a try in the corner after good work by E.T. and Medley. Hobbs converted, and it was 6-17, and that's how it stands at the interval. Join us for the second half. It'll be Hanley. Hanley going towards Fairbank, slips inside Fairbank. Hanley still going. He gets the ball out to Myers. Myers with a little kick through. And Cordell's there. And a try given there. Northern not covering the ball again. Simpson. Simpson to Fairbank. Fairbank straightens up. That's good running by Carl Fairbank. And Itty. Itty to Richards. Still going to Itty. Itty still going. Gets the ball back to, to Hobbs. Hobbs to, to Cordell. Cordell trying to go outside. Good way he does. Into the heights of Shelford. And Shelford will go on. Shelford will score. And that's a good try for Northern. Excellent work there. Initiated by Craig Richards into the middle field. Link with Brett Itty. Itty out to Hobbs. Hobbs worked with the long ball out to Cordell. And Cordell back inside of Shelford. And Shelford going away and into the corner. Superb try by Bradford. And that's a good reply by Bradford, going straight back at Wigan and scoring. And this time with Craig Richards, Richards straightens up. But he's held, but I'm sure Northern need to put a little move on now. And the switch is on it, City. It with a little kick through. And it's over, scored is City. Little kick through, back, back down by Dermot and pop back up for City to go over. And that's the New Zealand again making his presence felt. That's four tries in three. Three games now for Brittity. <coughs> now to Simpson, Simpson to Wilson, Wilson to Richards, Richards again, Burst and Richards goals, and Richards is going away, Richards still going, Richards still going, inside to Simpson, and Simpson will go over, and Simpson's got a superb try, and big Craig Richards there with a superb 60 yard run, men on either side, Paul Medley, and Roger Simpson inside, and Simpson goes over the side of the post. That's excellent rugby by Bradford. Richards trying to get outside with three Wigan players on him, but that puts Northern under the Wigan post. And it'll be Hobbs, Hobbs with a drop goal attempt. Pushes the ball through, and that's good play from David Hobbs, coming back with a point. And six, 17 points to six now. Bradford Northern lead Wigan. And again, Mr Whitfield... Uh, Anley, Mr. Anley is speaking to Whitfield and I'm sure he's telling him he'll do the refereeing. And Mr. Whitfield's pulling Anley off. And I'm sure he's going to give him 10 minutes in, Ben. And, and Elder Anley has been sent off. Elder Anley has been sent off for speaking to Mr. Whitfield. And Anley's going across to Mr. Whitfield there, uh, threatening him. And so the sensation. At half time here, as Elder Anley is dismissed for getting on Mr. Whitfield. Mr. Whitfield took so much, and in the end, give Anley his marching orders. And then Croft, Croft will straighten up, gets the ball to Wilson, good hands, and Cordell. Cordell goes outside, Bottica goes inside, goes out, going outside, onto the Cordell's over, and that's a superb try by Cordell. Outside, Bottica in the inside, Hampson. And that's good play there by Bradford. So, John is again for the kickoff here with the 80 to kick off. Both sides are substitute on. John Penn will be on for John Amer. And for Leeds, Simon Irving being replaced by David Creaser. Could indeed be Simon Irving with the headband on. And some doubt as to who the Leeds substitute is on for. Some 
Gill. Looks like actually Paul Arkin is missing for Leeds, which will be a sad blow to the Liners. Creaser in the middle of the field. See what happens when the scrum forms. You start David Creases doing medley head down there into Sean Wayne. Hobbs. That ball going to roll dead. And does indeed. Vince Fawcett just not recommended, allowing the ball to roll dead. Sean Wayne takes a short ball. Lie. Needs to be looking to the big forwards to consolidate the position that they're in at half time. David Dobbs, no doubt. Had a word with the Bradford pack about standing back and watching Leeds run, Alan. I'm sure he did because that's uh, you know that's what's cost some points in the first half. So we've got to get up now. We need to score first, basically, Stuart, to, get, to, to make a game of it now. Powell. Not for appealing for crossing there, but. Stack coming up. Coffee will put the kick in this time. Moxon. Putting it on the bounce. Bringing it back up the middle of the field. It's good running again from the youngster. Oh, lovely pass there from Itty. Marching. Winston. Simpson, somewhat shock choice for the New Zealand tour, but all the people here at Bradford rate him very highly. Hendlebury. Been around the rugby league scene for some years, but very happy here at Bradford. And that's a great kick again, and that's just what Paul Arkin was doing, and that's been touched by a Leeds player, says the referee. So that's a scrum, and it'll be Bradford in and ball, and they're attacking in the Leeds 25. That's just the start that they all wanted. They can put some pressure on the liners. First half penalties went 9 60 Bradford and the scrums 4 to 1. And penalty again there. And feed up the juice of that scrum. And Bradford now keen, they'll be keen to get back on the board. Different game at 17 12. Bradford could score now. I think he's in there, but Fairbanks hang on to that ball. Hobbs, Medley. Pushing players off Medley, Cardle. Go on, a good tackle there from Gibson, saving the day there. Bradford looking dangerous, Alan. Yeah, we seem to be putting it together, but uh, this was after the Lord Mayor Shaw, really, you know, we, we needed to be doing it right from the kickoff, but uh, nevertheless, it come out. But if we can get a, a try, I say we'll, we'll be back in the game, and I think we'll see a really good game now. Creaser with that ball for Leeds. And Vince Fawcett saving the day, but that was a penalty offside there, John Pendlebury. And he just acknowledges that from the referee. And it's nice to see a player accepting it without having something to say. So Schofield with the kick. Seem to have no ball at the moment. Chicken it is. Powell. Sean Wayne. What if a leads must be that Sean Wayne and Malai tire? In this second half, as they haven't had much football at this level lately. Go 
feel that it's not going to go. Boxing feeling it. Good tackling there from Simon Irving. Could go the length of the field. Yeah, Bank struggles with the ball. Hobbs. Richards. Now Fairbank showing the ball, going himself. Assumption in support there, but he couldn't get the ball away. The leads again, penalised and giving yardage away. This is a facet of Leeds play that David Ward's got to get right. He did somewhat there, but Paul Dixon had no need to say anything to the referee and it's given David Hobbs a chance to put two points on the board. It's amazing to you when you when you know the both teams and you know the so big mates off the field and you can understand that they can get soaked out with each other on the field. Yes, of course, Carl Fairbanks, Paul Dixon, both hill farmers in the Halifax area, as Alan rightly says. And, uh, just having a slight altercation there. I'm sure they'll be having a drink together after. And this difficult penalty. 45 yards. Basically straight. In the middle of the field, just to the right of the centre spot. <laughs> and that's there. But just the start of the second half that Norman wanted. Yes, we need to get those points on the board, as I said. We need to score first and uh, settle down. And I'm sure now we're, we're showing signs of playing a lot more football than we did in the first half, and let's hope we can continue and hopefully pull it off. Well, each pain daily for the Ridders there. Pendleberry <laughs> taking him off from the kickoff and sparse it up quickly. Running around in circles slightly and going to power up quickly. Steve Malai has that ball for Leeds. And it should be six more tackles, Hobbs interfering there. Yes, the referee wipes the slate clean. Sean Wayne. And then loses the ball and Roger Simpson has it, slips. Phil gets up again and he's lost the ball. The leads have it again this time. Well, a very greasy surface out there and comedy of it is there, really. Malloy. Malloy pushing Brian Noble back and I've not seen that happen too many times in the last few years. Jig going just setting and play down, taking it from that in half. Schofield. Showing the ball, Dixon through the gap again. By Powell. And Powell there should have given the ball there. And good tackle from Young Moxon. Schofield, here come Leeds now. Schofield lost the ball. And Medley has it. And this is good. Watson playing the ball to himself and surely that's offside. Well, time and Irving there from rugby only not quite understanding the rules, I think, Alan. No, I think it's, it's, uh, it's an automatic reaction to a lot of the lads, isn't it? Uh, so keen to get back and get the tackle to just wrap the arms around the leg. But uh, Young Moxon, I've been impressed with it. He's, he's played well with the A team, he's come in and he's, he's not looked out of place. Yes, he's looked out of place with Dan and Moxon this afternoon and just for. Ian Wilkinson, and that was a tremendous touch-finding kick there from David Hobbs. And here come Bradford now, and their tails are up. 
Simpson. Eighty strong, still rolling. Eighty. Robin within five yards of the line now, and Dixon penalised again there. And Nobbs will be looking to kick a goal, and that's sensible from David Nobbs. Still a penalty again there, Alan. Yes, there's no need for that from Paul Dixon, and uh, as you said, David Nobbs will uh, hopefully take the two points and pull us near to the lead score. That's right, and Leeds guilty again of these lapses of concentration and when they've got the side under pressure. Just either talking back to the referee or giving away silly penalties. This cost them daily against Hull and against Oldham. And Hobbs, one of the master kickers. And he usually makes sides pay daily for these lapses. And Leeds just really need to settle it down and start playing the football they were playing in the first half. And that's wide this time. Just curling down the upright. Leeds still leading by 17 points to eight. Now Scofield's drop out field on the full by Medley. Shelford. Not seen too much of Shelford this afternoon, except when he scored the try and took the ball well. E.T. Simpson, Simpson's throw the gaps, good play. Dwight Powell's chasing him, he's not going to catch him. And Simpson could go all the way at himself. And Henderson Gill just bumped in the touch there, Simpson giving that ball at probably at the wrong time. Another attack breaking down there, Alan. Yeah, we're playing some good stuff now, we're just not putting the finishing touches to it. Roger was a bit guilty a few months before the free kick. He was not putting, giving a pass to Paul Medlin. And there he used Henderson as a foil, I think, and they got over himself. That's Eddie Schofield working the scrums for Leeds. And Schofield injured there, isn't it? Schofield has had a bad knee injury. Dixon. Stephen Alloy. Jig gun runs from acting half, no marker. And he's just driving the ball out of the 25, using the forwards. Schofield this time with the kick. That's a great kick from Schofield. Is it going to find touch? It just bounces back the wrong way, and Adam Moxon it is who feels it. Oh, and Moxon's throw again, and he's had a great game this afternoon. It's a penalty offside there, and again, Northern complaining, Noble complaining, Fairbacks complaining, and there's a player injured. And it's Moxon that's injured there, he must have been hurt in the tackle as he passed the ball. And so Leeds it is of the penalty. They're eighth of the game. Fit to carry on, and Schofield is with the kick. And that's got to be a penalty there. That's a stupid thing of Carl Fairbanks to do. And I don't see how you can get 10 yards further back for talking to the referee and not 10 yards for throwing a punch, Ellen. Well, I don't think he threw a punch in that case. I think Sean went bumped up to him as he got up, and uh, six one and a half to do the, the, the referee were in between them anyway. That's, uh, I want to you on that. Fine, that's fine. That's how it should be. And here comes Sean Wayne again, driving him for Leeds. Powell. 
And Leeds certainly not making the inroads that they were doing in the first 20 minutes. Leeds have not scored since the 20 minutes. Schofield. Dixon. Oh, and popped a lovely ball up to Cavalio. Key sitting support, but you was going the wrong way. The ball in the long. In his wrong hand, he couldn't pass there. Schofield. Goes himself, really no support. Spinning. Schofield still going. <laughs> Taking play to within a couple of yards of the Bradford line. Sean Wayne. Oh, there's nothing for that, Sean Wayne, just driving in there. Six Tettle coming up, leads on a spin this ball. Gofield. Powell. Powell still going. That's a six tackle and that's the turnover. The poor effort there from Leeds. Yeah, a good sort of tackling from Bradford. We're playing a lot better now this second half, so we're doing we were in the first half and uh, the, the tackling's improved 150 percent. It's just now we need to finish off these moves where we're, where we're making the breaks and not uh, getting over the line. Yeah, that's a penalty there to Northern. Offside, Vince Fawcett. So Hobbs, things play up to halfway. Simpson, Craig Richards. Hobbs. Engelbury. And tackling from Carl Gibson. That's three tackles on the top for Carl Gibson. Simpson. Airbanks. Itty. Airbanks. Simpson. Marching. This is good play from Northern, keeping this ball going. Craig Richards. And that's up there by Carl Gibson. Six tackle coming up. Hobbs. And Schofield clears up on his own line. And it's Shelford. Who brings him down? Fawcett through, still going Fawcett and Cardle getting back there well and tackling him, that's good play. Cardle off his wing and a good job he was too. Chip Steve Malloy, Cavalio, it's good play from Lee, Richie Gunn, Tisa. And Ford, and there must be a try here for Lee, surely Phil Ford will score here. Great tackle there, Alan. I was just trying to see what was it, John Pendlebury got across with his uh, probably a bit of a professional foul back there by John, just holding Phil Ford down because normally that's sixes and sevens, but uh, great cover because Phil Ford looked off the line at his mercy. Yes, he did, and uh, Ford not making the most of his chance there, and Leeds is who have the penalty. And good thinking there by John Pendlebury, although we don't like to see professional fouls, sometimes they're totally necessary. And right, Powell drives up to the post, Leeds eight yards short again. And from the Leeds point of view, they could do with a score now. Medley, Pendlebury out quickly, Pendlebury. Tremendous cover tackler. Sean Wayne. Oh, and Leeds there, losing the ball with the line open again. And Leeds just trying too hard and trying to play too much football. They'd have been better taking it. It was only the second tackle. And Cardle in off the wing again. Anderson Gill and Phil Ford just wrapping him up. Oh, and a great tackle there from Marchant as Anderson Gill lost the ball and Phil Ford pushed over the line, so Northern will have the heading ball. And the game just getting a little bit scrappy, Alan. Yeah, I think both teams are trying so hard now just to get that Northern to get back into it and at least to get that finishing touch and the chances going down. And a penalty there at the scrum to Leeds. Feeding.
Yeah, 20 minutes left of play. Northern trying to make a substitution. Craig Richards it is. It's coming up, and John Amaro's coming back on. <laughs> Brother of Basil Richards from Warrington. Signed in a blaze of glory by Warrington and uh, not made the impact that his brother has. Certainly a, a home in the Bradford pack now. <laughs> ben Siddle bringing the ball up for Leeds. Can something that happened there? Cavalio back to Schofield. Good tackle there. Medley. Airbanks, sorry. Hamer. Schofield all soldiering in there at the moment. Shot Dean Malloy. By Powell. Barry Spencer is who dives on that ball. Sean Wayne. Pumps off Medley. Tremendously strong player, Sean Wayne. Two Great Britain caps to his credit. Cavalio, straightening play up. That's got to be a knock on. Casey just wafting that ball round and... and he's looking up to concede a penalty there for offside. It's a scrum. Itty with the feed. It's out to Northern. Penalised for offside. Nobs. <laughs> found touch and wins force it. Running the ball out from defence and running it out very well. A penalty there. Kyle Fairbanks and man guilty. It's always going to be hard between these two teams, as you say. Uh, Leeds always want to beat Bradford, and certainly Bradford, if Northern lost every other game and beat Leeds, they'd, be, they'd probably be satisfied, I think. Yes, that's very much the case, Eddie as well. Uh, and the Leeds just... And that's going to be a penalty now. And he's sent Fairbanks off. And we've just been saying that wasn't a dirty game, but Carl Fairbanks has just been worn for the high tackle and he had tried to take Steve Malloy's head off there and Malloy managed to duck under it. And so Carl Fairbanks sent from the field. And that's a sad sight. I don't like to see anybody sent off. And I've seen players stop on this season for far worse than that, Alan. Yeah, I think there was... Uh... Steve Muller certainly was ducking under the, under the tackle, so, you know, I don't think it was an eye tackle. I think you see went a bit low on, uh, and because Carl had just been caught uh, with, the, with an eye tackle with Vince Fawcett, and uh, Mr Smith decided to send him off. He's now sending David Hobbs off for ten minutes. Yes, and David Hobbs going to the sim bin, and that's silly David Hobbs. Four leads, two penalties there. Northern up against it now, and what's not been a dirty game, suddenly Northern reduced to 11 men. And Simon Irving it is with his chance. Paul Arkin warming up for Leeds. And that's through the middle, that's two points, and that's Leeds' first score since the 20th minute. So Northern up against it, Alan. Very much up against it now, and that's put an all-new complex on the game. And, uh, as we were just saying, it wasn't a dirty game, and that happens. 
Uh, David sent for 10 minutes, and that's the second time it was against Featherson he got 10 minutes. And he's just got to learn to. Well, he's ended, he knows more than anybody else as well as in the spur of the minute, but we, we need people on the field now. That's right, it's a uh, bad time just losing Carl Fairbanks and then David Hobbs for the next 10 minutes. That would probably take us up nearly to full time. And Leeds will no doubt throw this ball about now and try and make Bradford pay the price. Pendlebury kicks through there. Goldfield it is. Medley King to get in at Schofield. The referee has not wiped the tackle count clean there. Surprises me. And Northern will be well aware of what teams can do when they have men sent off. As we can storm back last week when Sandley was sent off. And six tackle. Schofield. Chips over. And kicks on again, and it's a chase now. But Cordell's got this covered, and he's going to make no mistake. And he's up quickly. Good tackle in there from the left wing pair, Gibson, and Fawcett. And what's on the to show him where? Outside him as that's a penalty. The leads player laid out there. The Northern just taking the time when as my colleague says only a quick ball would be the benefit. Well, they're not about to make much ground, I don't think, as they kicks right in the middle of the field. Not making no ground at all because that's safely in the arms of Gary Spencer. And he's brought the ball back up to halfway, and Dixon is receiving attention for Leeds. Schofield. Team Malloy. Cavalier all spinning out of tackles, but. Bradford covering like demons at the moment. Lovely ball there to David Creasy, and Creasy showing the ball and going and looking for support inside, and it wasn't there. Vince Fawcett, it was who should have gone inside then. Schofield. John Wayne. Leeds panel under pressure, 10 yards short, six tackle coming up. Schofield. With a drop goal. And he's missed it, much to the delight there of the crowd. Well, Bradford tackling well, Alan. Yeah, the, the lads are covering well and get across, and I think Gary Schofield a bit guilty there of uh, just going for the point when I'm sure they had a two-man overlap on the far side. That's right. And Tony Marchant is who restarts play, bringing the ball from ten yards. <laughs> Marchant again, running from acting half. Knock on there. Itty sweeping up. Referee saying that went backwards, which he did. Pendlebury. And that's the only way is to keep Leeds down here, and that ball's going to bounce. A wicked bounce there, and Vince Fawcett took that well, and he straightens up. Spencer. Good game this afternoon, Gary Spencer. Cavalio, Schofield with him, and that's good tackling again from Roger Simpson. Dixon. Steve Malloy. Steve Malloy, Alan Rung, strong and straight all afternoon. Yeah, I'm a great sad man of Steve Malloy. Uh, we tried to get him at Bradford when he was a lad of 17, and uh, I wish we had it done, because I think there's a big future in the game. I think he's one of the up and coming forwards. Yes, I'm sure that all at Leeds will agree on that. He's only played this since his second match, and he's made a big impression, and made a big impression with his teamwork, and his work in the gym with his colleagues.
Nitti almost shoved in the touch there by Paul Dixon. Henderson Gill. Yes, he certainly entertains the crowd, does Henderson Gill, and likely to go the length of the field. Mitty, another player with a big future in the game, learned very quickly. This is conversion from Rugby Union, looks a good player already. A difficult position, scrum half. Six tackle coming up. And Northern will kick, and it's Pendlebury that'll do the kicking. Foss Bensey. Pendlebury up quick to make the tackle as well. Let's go for a good ball out the pass. Tackle there from Wayne. Aloy. Dixon's got players with him, doing his self. Oh, as Alan says, Leeds not throwing the ball about like they should be doing, not making advantage of this overlap. Cavalio. Forward. Still going forward, stepping. Running round in circles. The referee saying that Ford didn't play the ball there. So, little Cordell is this time was going to kick. And that's a better one, that finds touch on the halfway line. That's a tremendous kick, in fact, a long way in the middle of the field. Cordell a big kicker, Alan? Yeah, there is. He doesn't do much kicking because of when David Hobbs is on there. Uh, but Jittle Cordell is a very big line kicker, yeah. Well, they have it. It's a good kick, that. That was right in the middle of the field. Simpson. And up towards the last five minutes. Pendlebury. Still a great player, John Pendlebury. And his tackle on Elia. It's a knock on. He tackled on Mark Ely at Wembley. Certainly won the cup for Halifax, and we've got a little skirmish, as you say. We don't really know who instigated that. I think Moxham was involved, and Steve Malloy. And now everybody's involved. And David Hobbs on the bench, itching to get back on. Being called out in the lie. Two guilty partners. And Moxon had a great game for Bradford. And Simbin. Got a Moxon so northern now down to 10 men and leads down to 12. Stephen Lywell. We were saying earlier this never been a dirty game. And northern getting a the penalty there. Roger Simpson wants to take the kick and Jiddle Cordell is about to. So Leeds under pressure but still with this two-man advantage. And John Amy. Schofield looking for the interception, leaves a big gap there and Simpson not quick enough there to take advantage of that. Pendlebury. And they're buying this and Gill. Pulled down. Northern from seven and eight yards short. Mitty going himself. And Northern are going to score, yes, some other time to score. And Leeds waiting for the knock on, and the referee saying that wasn't a knock on, and Northern has scored in the back in this game, Alan. Yeah, we're back in, I think it's a bit too late. It's, uh, the lot's done well there, it's it, down to. Uh, but the deep ten men for one, one says Dave Bob's just come on time to take the kick, so uh, we could be nil bad to finish right to the end now. Yes, and Leeds there, very much guilty there, waiting for the knock on penalty, but he looked as though he'd knocked on. Seemed to me as though he picked the ball up as the ball arrived at his hands. It was a bad pass from E.T. but paid the price there, Leeds. With a two-man advantage, shouldn't be allowing tries from near the line. David Ward will be annoyed with that. No 
Hobbs has missed that kick, and that's probably as a result of him being in the same bin, you're not, not backing the action quick enough there. So, Northern still need now to score twice. And Leeds guilty in the second half for failing to take advantage. They've only had the one penalty by Simon Irving. And I'm sure a win here, odds will be. What David Ward wanted on the coach coming in, looks like that's what he's going to get on the way home, Alan. Yeah, I feel so at this time. Uh, to Leeds credit, they kept it as cold at the start. They got us almost the first 20 minutes and got the points on the board. And try as we have, we've not been able to get those points back. We've dropped the missy opportunities in the first half. I think we've played a good second half, been a strong second half, and probably a bit shady out of the second half. But uh, all credit to Leeds for getting the early points. And with the penalty there, Evans Fawcett and Richard Gunn interfering with Paul Medley. <laughs> and the very is who's tackled. Noble. And then from that to half. Making any ground at all. Hobbs. Lovely ball there to Medley, and that's a good tackle from Roy Powell. Hobbs again. Simpson. And Leeds, Simon Irving cleaning up for Leeds. That was a three down on the floor. That just about sums that up. And ball was bobbing about. Schofield kicking over on the first tackle and gives it to Cordell straight away. And Schofield there. Well, referee says Schofield was interfered with. He certainly played for that. You're right, Alan, and he got that. And Brian Noble winning the Man of Match Award. Well, my choice would have been Darren Moxon. Well, Darren played very well. He just blotted his copybook. Uh, but Brian's one of his players is there. He graphs every week. He's, he's a tremendous ta tackler. And it's nice to see them, the grafters, get a reward. It certainly is. It's very easy to give Man of the Match awards to the Bretitis and the Gary Scofers of this world, but they can't do their work if the forwards don't do the graft. So Simon Irving has a chance to put two more points on the board for Leeds. And that's Cole and straight through the middle. So it's 12 points to 21. Just team the ball up there, kick off. Can't be long to go now. Time, full time on my watch. Phil Ford. In the days when Phil Ford could step the first man and go the length of the field, seemed to have long gone. Yes, he certainly has, Alan. He's done that a time or two against Leeds. We've paid the price for moving up quickly at the kick off. For himself. Leeds not really had much of the play in the second half without Arkin to organise them, which just shows you how important it has become to Leeds' plans already in only his fourth or fifth game of the season. Schofield is taking his time. Dixon, six tackle. Schofield, both sat down field. Cordell. Shelford. And there, if that goes a hooter, plays it is who run out victors here by 12 points to 21. And Alan must be disappointed as a Bradford man. Disappointed uh, on the result. Uh, second half, I was pleased we lifted our game and, and, and got right back in the game. But uh, Leeds it as cold as I said before. You got the board, points on the board the first 20 minutes, and uh, you can't afford to give any team in the first division 16, 17 points start. 
That's right. And Leeds taking full advantage of that early. They're controlling the ball well in the second half, despite the high penalty count. 17 to Bradford and 15 to Leeds. Two men in the same bin, in fact, three men in the same bin, and Cal Fairbanks sent off. It was never really a dirty game. Leeds just acknowledging the crowd. The vast away following. And the scrums won. Five by Bradford and three to Leeds. As Leeds will take the spars, I just run through the scorers. Leeds opened the scoring with a try for Irving, which he converted. Dixon then had a try. Then Dixon had another try two minutes later, and it was 16 0 with Irving's conversion, and Schofield had a drop goal. That's how it stood until just two minutes before half time, and Shelford scored a try after good work by Itty and Paul Medley. And Hobbs converted it, it was 6 17 at half time. It was Bradford it back straight away with a penalty from Hobbs in the second half. And then, probably the turning point of this game, Carl Fairbanks was sent off in the 65th minute, and Simon Irving kicked the penalty, and Leeds were 19 8 in front. And then, two players sent to the Simbin, David Hobbs, and then two for Leeds, uh, Steve Malloy and uh, Moxon for Bradford. And Pendlebury scored a try, and Hobbs just coming back on a bit cold, probably didn't kick the goal, which was easier than some had kicked this afternoon. 12 19, and then a penalty by Simon Irving, right on full time. It was 21-12, so I've enjoyed the game this afternoon. Well, Paul, you must be delighted to come back here and win first time. Yeah, first time, uh, <laughs> two, two points and winning pay, so uh, we can't really grumble at that. We know it's going to be hard, which it has turned out to be, so uh, we're all happy now. We set a target before eight points, and uh, as eight points, hopefully it'll come next week. Uh, you've obviously played against Leeds a number of times here for Bradford. It's nice to see Leeds come out with a big pack. Yeah, uh, when I signed, David had said that uh, he wanted a big pack and, and for me, myself to play, as I have done at Bradford, I had my runners at Bradford, and now that uh, we're spending time, a lot of time together at Leeds, I'm finding out who my runners are at uh, Leeds. And that's the secret, is it? You're training hard with running, people running off you? Yeah, it, well, just we play uh, a pattern of football and it's suiting me and uh, hopefully it's suiting the lads who's coming off. Uh, Gary's coming to the side and, and today we've, we've worked moves what we've set up and they've come off. You got a bang towards the end of the first half, which meant you didn't come out for the second half. Will you be fit for next week? Yeah, Dr. Simi says just take it a little bit steady. Uh, a little bit funny, actually. I looked up at score and I, it was 17 0, and I thought, where have I been for the last half an hour, you know? But uh, that's the way it goes. It, it was a bit silly for me to come out in the second half, but the lads did it, so I wasn't needed. I thought that the turning point in the game after Bradford got back came with the senior for Cal Fairbanks. Did you see that? Uh, you, well, it, it goes off in game. I, I don't know how, how, what will happen. I don't know. It's a bit difficult now with the Great Britain tour coming up, of course, the test team, nobody wants to get sent off. This is it, and uh, Lachlan's uh, he's come out with knee, and uh, Leiden's been sent off today, so <laughs> problems again. So it looks like we're shooting ourselves in the foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. OK, Paul, thanks very much. OK. Well, John, you must be disappointed with the result. Very disappointed, yeah. First 20 minutes, uh, we didn't start motivating ourselves, just letting in simple tackles, dropping simple passes, and then we got buzzing and then sending off started occurring. Yes, you, you created numerous chances in the first half and just the final pass seemed to go to ground. That's right. When there were only nobody to beat and just to put ball down, uh, we spilt the ball. 17-6 mm. down and we started to come back in it beginning of the second half. And I thought we were looking good. You know, we were starting Johnny Pendlebury, getting ball a bit wider. Um, and we were making those breaks and coming well back into the game. Mm. You seem to have found a good scrum half in Brett Eaty. Brett Eaty, very strong, raw scrum half talent uh, in the future. When he learns his positional play, it's going to be a superb asset to the club. Now, you've played against Leeds on numerous occasions. Is that the biggest Leeds pack you've played against? It is, yes. Um, they never seem to have a settled Leeds pack. They're always signing forwards, trying balls to the pack. But today, with uh, Malloy and Sean Wayne, they've added a, quite a bit of power to the pack. But uh, we certainly weren't overawed with their pack. Uh, we matched them man to man, I thought. You've had a lot of trouble with injuries, are you fully fit now? I am fully fit. Uh, I'm easing myself back into it. After being out of game almost 10 months, you can't get it back just as, you, just as you finished. But uh, I'm getting there slowly but surely, and hopefully my injury problems are over. OK, John, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you.